So if you're a Facebook user, chances are you've seen one thing in particular reposted quite a bit over the past couple days. No, not this Cyber Monday cat. It's this post, which in stern language hereby declares that the poster's copyright is attached to all personal info, photos, illustrations, etc. Facebook is thereby prohibited to use that content for commercial purposes by UCC Section 1308 and the Rome Statute, which by the way deals with genocide and war crimes, not rage comics. Meanwhile, the other half of the people in your feed are judging those people hard. So what's the truth? The reality is the original post is bogus. Sharing a faux legal notice does not give you immunity from the terms you agree to as a user. We've seen this post before and it's still not true. But this time it was provoked by a real change proposed by Facebook last week. For watchdog groups, the most troubling of those would eliminate the ability of users to vote on privacy changes. Previously, changes could be struck down if users complained loudly enough to the tune of 7,000 comments. So far, Facebook has gotten more than 7,000 comments on this proposed change, so now it goes to vote, likely this Thursday. And for more on this, we'll leave a link in the comments section below. But what are the essential terms you agree to? Well, Facebook does not own the copyright on anything you post, but they do have the right to do whatever they want with your info and photos. Copy, redistribute, or even take them down. Take a good long look at this photo. No need to nudify this one because there's nothing to see here. Those are elbows. Yet the photo was taken down by Facebook censors for violating the rule against nudity. Along with, in the past, photos of cartoon nipples, pictures of breastfeeding, and topless dolls. So what are the standards? Suffice it to say, some nudity is allowed as long as it's artsy enough. But there's only one way to find out. Experiments. Go ahead, post some racy art on your Facebook. Let us know what happens. What? I'm not doing it. Hey, if you get banned, we'll give you a shout out on Twitter, which is way cooler than a Facebook account anyway. Better for your health. This is Annie for TFN. And don't forget to check out today's episode of Fact or Fictional, where Veronica Belmont talks looper-style time travel with American theoretical physicist Dr. Ronald Mallet. Click the link to the left or in the show notes below.